Hey guys, how are you? It's me, Kelly. Okay, so as you can see, since I, I, I didn't want to bore you because it was boring to do, I have coated him with a coat of gesso. And I went over just the red. I wasn't really concerned about covering it, but just, just so it'll take paint. And you can see it doesn't have to be um, completely wonderful. We got a lot of scratches and all to get some really good stuff in it. And I will post um, a picture of him before um, I painted him after he was baked, if that makes sense. Um, he stands. Ta -da -da -da! And it's hard to see his face because he's standing and it's darker. But um, I love his toes because they're like Bigfoot toes. Hello, I'm a Bigfoot. We don't know what kind of creature this was um, when he died, but bless his soul. Um, so if you're doing this along with me or when you ever do choose to do something like this, um, all I did was use gesso. If you don't have gesso, by all means, use white acrylic paint. Same thing. No big deal. It was just one coat. I just wanted to give it a basic cover. So most, you know, so when you looked at it, the color that you saw was white and not all the multiple colors of, um, clay that I had used because like I had said this is used with all my extra clay I'm trying to use up all my little extra pieces and also I can start using you know regular pieces um you can see like right here I shrunk in his ribs a little bit because I think I'm gonna paint like a black jacket on him not sure but just so his ribs kind of come through somewhat and you know play around so I'm not real, I'm not real sure, but like I said, I painted the back of his head, which was that translucent bottom of his feet, got it everywhere. We've got a lot of great, um, holes and stuff for the black to go into. So what we're going to do now is, well, first, before I do this, somebody asked me, I think it was Taylor. I hope it was Taylor. I can't recall right at this moment because I'm so tired, sick and tired of Google. And people leaving me comments and I can't, I feel awful because I'm not answering everybody because there, there's, there's comments that came in through today that I've already read on my comments from three days ago. And then some comments don't even come through and some, I, I'm just so disturbed with, with this Google YouTube merge and it's just not helping me at all. So what we're going to do first, she asked me to paint a resin piece and this is a white resin piece um that we did of, of the skull remember we made the um skull mold so i'm just going to take black acrylic paint with my paintbrush and i'm just going to start painting it now if you want it solid which you know a lot of pieces that you'll make you'll you'll do You'll, you'll do. You'll make solid. I have a little bit of water in my brush, no big deal. But I just want to show you how nice this paints up. I mean, you can see just from there, it looks like a black spot, but I'm going to lift it up. And look, that's it painted. Hey, how easy is that? That's the amazing uh, casting resin, the one that cures in the 10 minutes. Um, so, I mean, it is great. Um, here's the back. You just paint it the same. Leave it dry. Give it another coat. You're good to go. And it doesn't matter what it is, what you make. So you could do 12 different colors if you're doing a face or a piece of jewelry or whatever. Now, like, you see that this is this can paint all black. It's going to dry all black. Let me, let me just kind of hit it with the heat gun for a second. So you can see... And black's hard to kind of pick up the color. But can you see? That dot down here is where I was holding it before. But you see, completely covered black. One coat. Another coat, you'll be completely good to go. That's if you need another coat. You might, you know, you might not even need one. Because I'm just being really fast and 
you know, doing that. Now, if you want, if you're doing something like this and you want it to have its cracks, you know, you want that white base, but you kind of want to wipe, lightly wipe, leave it sit on for like, you know, a few seconds. You kind of want to wipe, you know, whiten it out so you get the effects the same way I did on the clay. And you just wipe. And you can leave it dry a little bit longer. Like I said, it ain't going to hurt nothing. But this is any piece you do. You can make jewelry. You can make um, roses. And you see? And it picks up all the cracks. You can see the mouth. And the eyes are dark. So you can, like, lighten up around the eyes if you want. You know, it just depends on how much you want to take off. Now, I can really rub... Hard to hold up with my hand there for all that time. But if we really rub, you're gonna see it's just that black's just, and that's essentially what we're gonna do on this the big skull body. Now, something cool to know. If you go and you make a resin face. Actually, Taylor, I'm going to mail this little piece of resin skull out to you. So when you get it, if you want it to be a regular color, you can just sand it a little bit or just, you know, it's acrylic paint. You can paint over it white. Or if you want to mold it in a piece of clay or whatever. But I'll send this little one to you. But if you have paper, if you're using paper clay... I'm just going to wipe off the back because it's not all the way dry. And it takes The back will take, if you have a solid back like that, it'll take a few extra minutes to dry than the front because it's so smooth. But it still covers as beautifully and you just got to leave it sit. I have no patience. Now, see our cute little skeleton skull now from the Amazing Mold Putty? Awesome. If you have this, like say I send this to Taylor, right? And she has paper clay or a Crayola uh, clay that is air, any air dry clay, essentially. So Crayola makes a great air dry clay, paper clay, whatever you have. Then what she can do, you can't do this with polymer because you can't bake this. But what you can do then is then build the head on the back like I, get, I did on my guy with the clay. Because clay on clay you can bake, whether it's already baked or not. And she can use this and start her little... Um, you know, her little guy, or she can make a cute card. She can make her own mold from this. She can do whatever she wants with it. If you go and put um, any kind of air dry clay on this and you want to make it a fuller head in between this and the clay, get a thick wire, a, um, oh. Wind's blowing bad here. My dogs think everybody's at the door. Um, get a thick wire. Get a um, chopstick. Get a straw. Whatever you can use these thumb dep these tongue depressors. I buy these at the craft store. They come in like a pack of like a hundred for like two dollars. And put it in between, and then put your clay over it so it dries. And what this does, and you can do this with clay too. Like I, you know, I only had my head and then I had to build from it. And I could have done this too. Um, put it in between. If you want to put a little bit of hot glue on it, you can or any type of glue. And then put your air dry clay over this and build over it. Leave it lay like this to dry. So when it's dry, it's all connected. And then you have to build his body from. Does that make sense? Then you can wrap your pipe cleaners around it, build his body. This would be cute to just make him a fat little you know, skeleton or whatever, or if you're making a baby doll or a doll face or whatever. And we'll do more of these in the future. So that I wanted to show for Taylor. And Taylor, I have this in a little, I have a little package I'm sending to you um, of stuff. Um, and I'm going to throw that in there for you to do whatever you want with it. Or you can just keep it around as Kelly love. This is the way Kelly loves creepy things <laughs> and that's the truth and anybody I, I love creepy skulls skeletons creepiness clowns so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just any old acrylic paint you have 
I'm going to give you this um, suggestion again. I give it to you guys all the time. Go to AC Moore, even Michaels. They have a store brand. AC Moore, I think, is called My Craft or something to that effect. They're like, they usually have them on sale where you can get two for a dollar. Um, by themselves, I think they're like 52 cents a piece. Go buy the Rainbow, Roy G. Biff, in black and white. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, black, and white. You can essentially make a lot of colors from those. You know, you, you have your pink, you want to make it a little bit darker, you can add a little bit of the purple in there, you want to make it lighter, you want to make your purple lighter, you add a little bit of white. You could probably, for under uh, six, five, six dollars, you know, um, get a whole acrylic set of paints. Do you know what I mean? You don't have to have expensive paints. But that is a great way to start out. If you can't afford to buy Roy G. Biv, do Roy. And then go and do G. Biv. You know what I mean? And pick up a black and white. And you're set. You don't have anything to work. You know what I mean? You can water it down. You can make a spray from it. You can use it for so many things. So for everybody starting out, that's my suggestion. Um, I might. I'm thinking about it. Do... Um, I have a lot of giveaways coming up and I'm thinking, I know I've, I get so many messages from you guys. I know a lot of you are on SSI as I am or SSD. Um, a lot of you can't leave the house like I, I can't leave often. Um, I know a lot of you um, are single parents. I know a lot of you don't have money. I know a lot of you are ill. I know a lot of you um, don't have money like I, you know, I used to be able to go out and buy the gold and then the Liquitex and my life changed and um, couldn't do it anymore. So I had to find alternatives and that's why I love doing what I'm doing so I can show you guys. Um, so I'm thinking, um, down the road, it might be a Christmas giveaway that I might go buy the Roy G. Biv black and white and give away a paint set. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or I'm going to do, um, the paint sets that come, um, like in the packages. I haven't decided because I'm cleaning and I know I have, you now squirt your paint that you're using, your black paint, get nice and runny and watery. Um, I'm cleaning everything up so I know I have some kits. I know I've sent some people some kits that I've had and I have to see if I have any here that I've not used yet of acrylics that is a bit like is a bigger set. And I might give that away. I haven't quite, or I might, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. That's one of the giveaways I'm thinking about. Also, something else I did out of polymer clay, which I don't think I have polymer clay here to stick in here, but I'm going to be doing an, another video because I, I have an experiment I want to do. However, this is a rose. This is this rose. Can you see that? Because it's kind of black. But look for the video with this because we're going to have we're going to have a little bit of fun with some hot glue and um, polymer clay. So keep an eye out for that. That'll be coming up. And keep an eye, already should be, at this point, the contest for the mixed media products should be out. So go back and look at my videos and leave me a joke. Okay, so we have it all black and we're just going to paint it on and get in them crevices real good. Use a bigger brush, I would suggest, or use a um, scruffy brush, you know, one of the these kind, just because you can really get in there, but I just use this. Use whatever you have. Get in them holes because you don't want to see. And you can see I added a little heart on him. And I don't know if I'm going to do that black or do it red. I can't quite decide. I think it would be really cool bright red because of him being so right now, this is antiquing him. We are antiquing him. And if you're messy like me, you can see all the black splotch splotches everywhere. I don't know how far I'm going to move him back so you guys can see more. And you see, this wasn't hard to do. You know, the hardest, the, the longest that it takes is the baking. You know, because you have to put it all together and bake it. And then, you know, 
but it really didn't take much. And that's why I wanted to do it on online because, you know, on, on YouTube so you all can see. It's really fun. And this is just all scrap clay. Instead of throwing it away or just sitting there and not doing anything for me, I figured, why not? And I'm going to say, and I say it all the time, and I know I haven't said it, obviously, doing this because I've received a few emails from people. And these aren't just whatever they're called that go and just make comments on everybody's videos that are weird. You know, like weird, what are they called? People who just, not stalkers, but they're called, there's a name. I just call them losers because they have nothing better to do. But these are people who actually have YouTube channels or that are like have YouTube but no videos on them and just watch videos have left me, they must be clay people have left me messages like I'm mentally, am I mentally retarded? Which I take quite offense to. I think that's awful. So I've been called mentally retarded. Um, I don't know what I'm doing as far as doing the clay. It, it, it's a mess. Now my one friend said it looked like a, what did she call it? I don't know, a Bigfoot or something like that or whatever. And I knew she was just being silly. So I don't take her personally. I knew, you know what I mean? Like I don't, you know, when people are kidding with me, I can take it. But these people don't write it as comments like for you to read. Do you know what I mean? They, they write me personally. Now we're just doing the front of his body. So just do his neck like that. Make sure you get all those little white spots. But I've been called many names when I do clay. I don't know why. You know, I do this for, I do it for me. I do it, give it a second to dry for a minute. I do it for people who have stuff like I do, um, chronic illnesses or problems with their hands or um, whether it be mental, I mean, it, it, any type of illness. I do this for people who don't have a lot of money and get, what word do I want to say? Intimidated by people who are who are wonderful artists, but will quite a few times show that they only use the golden. Um, golden's a big one, Liquitex, you know. Um, and you don't have to. If you can, I'm like all for it. Do you know what I mean? Go for it. There's nothing wrong with that. Um but for me at this particular time in my life, I can't. So I have to find good deals. I have to use coupons. And I have to, um, just see a little white there I'm missing. And I have to, you know, watch my budget. So that's why a lot I, I do this. I do this so you know what? If you like to do clay and you have RA like me or fibro or carpal tunnel syndrome or um, many other things that we have, you know, anxiety, panic, whatever it is, something, this is something you can focus on and do. This is something that's productive. Is he going to go into uh, a, a museum and get a million dollars for it? No, you know where he's going? He's going to my living room. But I have made beautiful dolls and I had made beautiful clay pieces. Um, my hands just don't want to work with me like that anymore, but it isn't going to stop me and it shouldn't stop you. So to all the people out there who are afraid or afraid to be criticized because you see other people writing things and all that, never, never stunt yourself because of somebody else. Because imagine, you know, imagine what you're giving up and what you're not getting a chance to do and enjoy in life. You know, we suffer enough with anything that you suffer from at home, whether it's, you know, people are getting unemployed, people are getting illnesses, cancer, you know, whatever, um, you know, chronic illnesses, whatever. Why suffer more? Because somebody might judge you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't bother me. People can write whatever the hell they want. I don't care. I still do it. I, you know, I say to them, then don't watch. I actually, I don't respond to them, but I just don't want it to dis dis discourage other people from doing what they love to do because it, there's really no reason, really no reason. Nobody's opinion matters. If you're happy doing it, I had a blast doing this and I'm having a blast doing it. And that's what should matter the most, not, you know, what some snobby clay person. And I say this 
as I say it in most of my clay videos, I'm showing you the basics of how to do it. If you want to take a paid professional, you know, and get taught professionally, go to Poly Polymer Clay Productions. They sell clay asses. Go. Get a professionally made clay ass and pay for it. If you're, you know what I mean? If that's what you want, go for it. Don't sub to me. Don't watch me. And please don't waste your time writing me because I delete. I don't even read half of them once I start seeing what it's about. Do I like suggestions? Yeah, I love suggestions. I love, you know what I mean? But it's, it's, you're wasting your time with me because it just doesn't matter. I just feel bad for people that you do that to that take it to heart. And it's a shame because, you know, you should be kind to each other. Because I'm sure if it was you and people attacking you, you wouldn't like it. So I'm done waiting for the paint so I can wipe it off. I'm done uh, running my mouth like I always do. I just can't stand people, you know. If there's a video I don't like or I'm watching, even if it's people that I'm sub to that I love and it's getting on my nerves or they're talking about something I don't like or, you know, I'm in a mood that day and don't, I just move on. I don't write a big dislike. I, don't, I never dislike a video and I never um, write a mean comment to nobody. Now we're just going to take our dry paper towel and wipe them off. It's really getting funky uh, lighting. Let me see if I shut this blind. <sighs> I think last time it took my daughter and I 20 minutes to shut this blind. You hear it? Okay. I don't know if that'll be better or not. Something's making the lights flicker. But yeah, so that's my that's my rant of the day. So just wipe them off. You want it to stay in them deep dark crevices, dark. But yeah, I never understood that. If you don't have something nice to say, just don't say anything at all. Nobody makes you watch these. They're free videos for goodness sake. Like I said, I don't take it to heart anymore. I did, you know, for a short period of time, and then I just realized they're just jerks who have nothing better to do. And like I said, if you have to hurt somebody's feelings or write somebody, like, like you know what I mean, to, to make them hurt or hurt their feelings or whatever, something's wrong with you. Just push next and go on to the next video. Because you ain't hurt my feelings. Like I said, I wake up, I, I, I have 10, 11, 12 sometimes uh, messages from you guys, beautiful messages of how watching my video, you know, made you feel better that day or, or makes you like, you know, you're going to try it because it shows you that you can and it was an, and it was an easier way broken down that way. I think teacher, the people out there teaching, I think um, are all wonderful. I think that you have to find a teacher or somebody who speaks to you and that you can learn off of if that makes any sense you know not you're not gonna get certain things from certain people like do you know what i mean like everybody you know it's like being in, in school and you had your favorite teacher and then you had the teachers that you just didn't you didn't learn from but those favorite teachers are yours you learned from and that's just what it is i love teaching and i love showing people that you know what Yep, we're disabled. Yep, it sucks, but guess what? It ain't going to stop us. And your nasty messages ain't going to do it. So I hope that if any of you are going through anything like that, on your YouTube channels that you guys, you know, don't even read it. When you start looking at it, you know, and you see that it's going to be nasty, Don't even bother reading it because it's not worth it. Because see, when I'm done with this, I'll be happy. And what they said doesn't make no never mind to me. So let's see up close. Can you see how good? And we'll go back and touch up. I can see like underneath, like he needs some white, but I'm going to get some on the back. And But can you see like in them ribs, the crevices, how icky it looks? I'm very happy, very happy. So I'm going to turn him over. And continue painting. 
And all it is is essentially watered down black paint. No certain brand. It's whatever you got. Just try to get, you know, all those white crevices done. Like I said, once you get everything covered, then you can go back if you see that you missed. I always miss places. And just kind of scrub it in, really, is what you're doing. Because you want that black to show through. And you can see I made a few adjustments on him. I kind of put that little heart on him and folded his little fingers up. And... I change my mind all the time. Like when I'm doing clay or even paintings, I'll start out one way. And <laughs> it ends up completely not what I want. Like, like what I had started in my mind. I'm going to put a little bit more paint. Now, if you're doing this and you did it all in a flesh colored clay or a white clay, um, well, more of a white clay, rather, you still want to kind of do the antiquing because we want the darkness through it. You know, you want that black to pick up. Um, in the crowd, you know, in the cracks and crevices. And to me, this is very uh, soothing, just painting all this because you don't have to be neat or anything. Now we're going over that extra head we like we put on there. Just cover that all up. I've got a few email a few emails from people which I think is awesome. Um, that they're waiting until it's all done so they could just sit and watch the whole, all the videos back to back, which I think is hysterical. I love it because I'm going to put it up on my, um, I don't know if I'm going to do it on my blog or not. It might be too many videos to put up there, but I think that's awesome. I'm like, cool. I never thought about doing something, you know, like sitting and watching videos all in a series. I mean, I know this one's long doing these kind of things, but look at this angle to see if we got it. One second. So we're going to leave this sit on here. It's going to dry lighter. Get in the middle of them twos. I can see from this angle. And then we'll see about the other twos. Get done little fingers. And this is just our base coat. We're going to give it a second. Did I do? I don't think I did. Let me try to move him without really. I don't think I did the bottom of his feet. Nope. Let me turn. Let me do the bottom of his feet as I throw my brush in the water. Good thing. We just need the water. Water down paint. Greatest thing in the world. Now, I have um, 
some good videos coming up of experimental stuff because I just feel like I want to experiment. And I've seen some things on Pinterest and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try that. So look for them also. And don't forget to look for the contest and enter it for the mixed media stuff. And then next week I'm going to put up the, probably Monday, I'm going to put up the um, Amazing World Putty Contest. And the good thing about having this so watery is like in little areas like where you can't really, you know, if you were painting a solid, you just can like just stick, stick your brush in there, stick them in the cracks, the little bristles. And then because it's watery, it'll just go right in there. You don't have to fuss too much. Nothing perfect. I'm just going to leave them sit for a minute. When I see back here, this is what happens. And this is because I'm obsessive when I should just leave it go till I wipe it because it could always go in there. I'm just going to, right now I'm going to quit looking for a minute. <laughs> but um, let me wipe this up because you know where that's going to end up all at on me. Because, you know, I'm good for sticking hands and clothes. And I ruined my one good pair of pants yesterday. I'm always in my, like, pajamas. I have, like, these pajama clothes. Well, they're pajamas. They're not really clothes. But um, that I do my arts and crafts in because I don't care. I wear them to bed. Who cares? And then yesterday I had to um, take my foster cat to um, the shelter to get fixed. And so I had taken a shower and everything. I know we I knew we didn't have to go till late, but I figured, you know, it'll be fine. And I took a, a shower and came up and did something and walked down the steps and had paint all over my my good pants. And they're my favorite good pants. They're my period pants. And I don't know if y'all know it, it, I don't mean to disgust anybody. I am going to admit to you that I have period underwear and period pants, and that's as far as I'm gonna go. And if you could understand that and, and know what that means, then you're my kind of girl. That's as far as I'll go, but yes. Yep. They weren't my period pants. But yes, I do wear my pajama pants and my, my home lounging pants as they're called. You know, because if I get paint on them, I don't care. So we're just giving this a couple more seconds here to dry. You know how they say it's like watching paint dry? It is, isn't it? This is the back end. And I'm only going to give them another second. I might just give a quick Because with the water in it, it will dry for you. I just kind of want to do that. Okay, let's take our paper towel and start wiping. Very lightly, you don't want to push too hard in the beginning because you want to make sure that you're pushing that paint down in them cracks. Plus it'll give it a little bit more time to dry. I'm just gonna kind of blot his head to help push in. And then if you need to add a little bit more pressure, go ahead and we'll turn him over in a minute to do the other side and let's just run this down. His arms, the back of his hands. And the paper towel adds, adds a really cool texture too. Because of the roughness on it. So move it every so often. 
because it's almost like a fine sandpaper in a sense when it comes to this, if that makes sense. Get in between them legs, the sides, back of his hands. Yeah, it looks good. Now, let's say you want it a little bit lighter, that you're like not happy with how dark like how dark it still is. Just give it a little scrape of water, a little squirt of water, and then just go wipe over it. So you might like that look better. Do you see the difference? Let's see if I can lift them up. The difference in the legs. So you might like that better. You know, where you're making it more like ashy like. So do that. Wet your rag and go wipe over it again. It's however you like it. And then if you think, if at the end you like, you're like, nah, I think it's a little bit too light for me, then you go back with the watered down the watered down acrylic. It's not, you know, not a big deal. Now I'm gonna do the top of his head and I'm gonna squirt my paper towel. Maybe I'll do the side of the arms first to get them dry. And that's the fun thing when you're when you're working with this kind of thing with watered down paint and stuff, especially acrylic paint. You know, when you water it down, you know, you're extend not only extending the drying time because of the water, but you can kind of, you know, re re-react it, I guess is the word. If you look at it and say, yeah, I want it a little darker. Uh, I want it a little lighter. Oh, I want it darker in this area. You know what I mean? Whatever you want. Now we're going to work on the top of his head for a second. A little squirt on my paper towel. And just a little wipe. I'm so happy with this. It's really been such so, so much fun for me to work on this. And to come from what it looked like prior to this with all the other different colors of um no, I didn't put no, you can see I didn't put leg bones in him. Um if you want to be more accurate, like I did do the ribs. Um, because I'm thinking, and I might not, it just might be the way his ribs are. It doesn't, doesn't matter to me. I did it just in case, because if I would have baked the ribs going all the way around, like I originally had it, if I changed it and wanted to paint, I was, my, my idea was to paint him in a black coat, like really put black on him. And I still may down the road, but right now I'm going to leave him as B. But, um, What was my point? Oh, but you can go on, you know, the internet or if you have a, if you're in the, uh, not an, is it anatomy? Oh, astrology. No, not anatomy. Never mind. <laughs> if you're into anatomy and you want to be accurate and you want to do like the hip bones connected to the, you know, whatever that, then you can glad, you can very easily form these into those different bones. To me, it's like, I wanted him to like look like a scorched vic victim in a sense, but he's a skeleton, if that makes sense. It's Kelly's world, Kelly's mind, Kelly's clay. Um, do you expect anything different? <laughs> now this toe has a little bit, this foot has a little bit more. I'm gonna be a little gentle around them toes. And then just kind of go around. Now. I'm digging on them, but I need more black up on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them dry. And the next video you see from me will be him done. I'll either make my decision on to make him darker or leave him like this. I'm going to make this. I think what I'm going to do. And you guys leave me a comment and let me know. That would be so freaking helpful. Okay, I think I'm going to make the coffin his stand. 
And I think I want to paint those glossy red, but with a crackle. Like I wanted to do it black and then like black underneath and then like this really like glossy cr red crackle on top. Now, one of the videos I have come, I'm going to be doing is um, how to crackle with Elmer's glue, which I love, love to do. So you don't need to go out and buy um, Tim Holtz crackle shit that all mine I've bought and brought home and opened and they're fucking dried out. And I wrote the company. I didn't want to get started. So I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool to paint this black? And then um, take the sticker off, of course. And then, like, once that's black, and then do the red glossy over it. And then, like, leave it dry. And it's, like, really old and icky look, you know, like, creepy looking. And then have him, and then have the heart glossy red, right? And then have him, certain things you don't like to see in life, I'm one of them. Okay. And then have him, focus, focus, hello. And glue him onto his coffin. Like, I thought that would be really cool. So, here we are. Look at that. All from old yucky poopy clay. I love his feet, though. His toes are like, I don't know what's going on. The bottom of his, of his feet all crackled. I'll probably have to put another coat on them. If you can see... Like in his foot, you can see like where the black like lays in there and that's like awesome looking. Um, so how do you get a fuzzy in his bum? Don't want to know that question, answer to that question. So that's about it with this. So that's what I will be doing next. So the next time you see me, I will not be on camera like this with my fluorescent green shirt on. I'm going to have this painted, the bright glossy red, and I'll probably um, paint the red heart in the process. I'm just going to use, uh, if you don't have, if you have regular red acrylic paint and you don't have glossy, which most of us do, I don't, I accidentally picked up a glossy, no harm. You can either um, paint it with red regular paint and use a, uh, like glossy accents over it or a glossy, uh, <clears throat> like heavy, you know, gel or, uh, Elmer's glue, um, anything like that, you know, a Mod Podge that's glossy. Um, or what I like to do is when I have extra clear nail polish, I like to cover it with that. So like if I, if like I do have sprays that are glossy, that I have for things that I do, like if I do certain paintings and I want them to be glossy. Now I'm peeling this off, the sticker, but like some of the papers, but I, I don't care about that staying on there because it'll just add texture. And me digging in, it's gonna add, make a little bit of um, marks. That's why I'm not being too careful. And that's okay because it's gonna look old and he's gonna be glued on it anyway, so it's really not gonna matter. But um, I do have like a clear coat spray that I do spray on certain things. But usually all my stuff is just regular acrylic paint, not not uh, glossy. Like I said, for whatever reason, I picked up a couple glossies one day. I don't even know why. It was accidental. Like I wanted the colors, but I don't want. Them. I got home and I'm like, they're glossy. Because you really, I mean, you can mix them with the others, but it's just a whole other different consistency and dry time and all that fun stuff. So that is that. So thank you for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope you guys are trying to make something or planning on making something. The next time you see him, his coffin will be painted and his little red heart will be painted and, he, and we will attach him. And I'm very excited. I just got to touch up his head a little bit on top. Because you can see I wiped a little bit too much. No big deal. That's nothing. And he's going to be done. Look how cool he is. Black's so hard to see. I'm so excited. So excited. So excited. So thank you. Be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Thank you for being great viewers. Make sure you check out the Mixed Media Giveaway. And I will see you with a few experimental videos coming up soon. So have a great day, guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.